Uh, look, Bajpai, you know, this is something which uh, a lot of people don't realize. You know, we are sitting over here talking about a resurgence in, in international travel from India, um, international aviation from India. But there are several countries in Europe which actually require a booster shot. We don't give a booster shot here in India. For example, and this is a very real case, you know, I, I had COVID a couple of weeks back. Had I not had COVID a couple of weeks back, I would not have been able to travel to any number of European countries because my second vaccine is almost one year back. Then what happens? I would have to travel to a third country to get a booster shot? It doesn't make sense, does it? Well, yes, I think, uh, uh, you know, there is still a lot of variance in the, uh, the norms uh, for allowing entry uh, to travelers. And uh, you mentioned the booster shot. The other uh, confusion that's still out there is certain countries not accepting co-vaccine. Right. right. Significant percentage of our population has been, uh, you know, vaccinated with co-vaccine. And I think, however, what we've seen is that progressively uh, countries have changed their stance on this. And we saw this in Europe, I think, barring Germany, most of the countries started accepting co-vaccine, for example, uh, you know, as an acceptable uh, vaccination. Uh, and it's um, now listed in the WHO. So that shouldn't be a problem. Person. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think from a booster shot perspective, we understand that there are some discussions happening, uh, you know, at the government level. But I think there's also uh, the fact that, uh, you know, a very large uh, majority of our uh, uh, vaccinations have happened in the last six months, right? Like if you look at the absolute numbers. So I think there will be a, a smaller proportion of people who will be impacted by that nine month regulation based on the numbers we've seen. Um, and like Rajesh was say, saying that, uh, you know, the demand is coming back very, very strongly, right? So we've also seen like a 40% uh, sort of month on month increase in searches. But the dampener here really is, uh, you know, the fares, right? And though there was an expectation that fares would uh, trend down as soon as capacity grew, but because of the Russia-Ukraine crisis and, uh, uh, you know, oil prices, uh, we are still sitting on a very uh, high, like 25 to 30 percent higher fares in many routes, even on domestic, by the way. Right. So domestic is still not back to pre-COVID levels. Right. Despite the interest being there. Right. 